agree with you. And, you know, also one of the things too, I, I, I got to ask you uh, before we wrap up is, you know, what are the major trends that, you know, you foresee that organizations will need to either adapt or uh, quickly, you know, um, get on board per se, right, within BI and the whole data visualization uh, set? I mean, what, what do you see, Percy? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, already, you know, on the way kind of happening, which we just touched on is, is the fact that data can come in so many different shapes and forms. And you yeah. add to that then sort of the emphasis on uh, self-service. Right. So long gone are the days where, you know, you as a, as a business analyst or, or, or you know, whomever, right, you know, as, as a recipient uh, would, you know, submit a request to IT. Here's what I'd want to report to load like or a dashboard and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you know, the way that tools are designed, um, you know, obviously it's it's much more of a you know here's here's sort of these different packages of data or these different models and you know you go to town and create your own your own outputs your own reports your own dashboards and so on and so forth now that's great um and it and it really takes a lot of uh you know of the overhead out of the uh overarching process, but as, uh, you know, to, to do a, a quick little superhero quote, right, with, with great power comes great responsibility, right? So what do we have? Love it. And then we have, no, but we, you know, seriously, then we have potentially what, a wild west in terms of, yep. you know, what, what people are producing. So, you know, that's when I come back to really just the principles of having, um, you know, procedures and policies and guidelines around data visualization. Uh, regardless, and this is completely technology or tool agnostic, this is really just something as simple as what are some design principles, right? If you if you decide that, hey, in this particular, you know, visualization, I'm going to highlight, uh, you know, products that are performing badly as red and products that are sort of in between, uh, in danger of performing badly as orange and everything else is blue. And then I decide, well, you know what, I don't necessarily want to ring the alarm that, that much. So I'm going to highlight products that are performing badly as orange. So now all of a sudden, you know, those two outputs get in front of a decision maker and it's, you know, confusing. It can potentially lead to, you know, incorrect conclusions, but something as simple as that, right, as not having those standards and those, you know, or, you know, something as simple as you might consider anything below, you know, 15%. Of, of you know sales for a particular product to be you know to be bad i might say yeah maybe it's 20 right so those simple things uh standards and, and sort of you know processes and of course that goes alongside with you know governance and security and procedure yeah. around that but i think that's you've covered that in other in other uh you know videos and that's a, kind of a separate topic but even you know, as it relates to just visualization and design and, and those sorts of things in general, um, I think that, you know, it's important to think about that because once you get into a situation where everyone can start producing content, uh, if you don't get your arms around that, it can, it can have a lot worse uh, consequences than you might, you know, than you might realize, so. Yeah, and Mario, I love the, the Spider-Man quote you bring up, that, that's awesome. And to your point, yeah, you don't want it to be the Wild West, right? But yeah. self-service is coming. Yep, we see it now. Yeah. But making sure that there is no confusion, that the right. data that you are putting together, you're projecting, you're visualizing is spot on. Is it the same as what you and I may think? I, I totally agree with you. And I do foresee that those are the big major trends. And those are some of the big gotchas we have to uh, watch out. So love those insights, Martin. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. That sounds good. Well, you know, Martin, I want to thank you for taking the time and joining me on Talking Data and More. Really appreciate, you know, having you on, bringing those insights and showcasing and telling, you know, other organizations the value of business intelligence and data visualization. So glad that you were able to join me today. Oh, absolutely, Chris. My pleasure, man. You know, I love talking about this stuff in a, in a fun uh, and sort of, you know, simple uh for a format like this. I really appreciate you having me on and I really enjoy these videos. So definitely keep them coming, man. Oh, will do. Thank you so much. Well, I want to thank everybody for taking the time and checking out Talking Data more. Hope to see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.